Wow, top tech CEOs lashed out against government snooping. Releasing classified information is treason. And then what happens? It's generally and lands you, you know, incarcerated. The government's comment was, oh, don't worry, basically we're not spying on any Americans. Right, and it's like, oh, wonderful. Yeah, it's like, that's really helpful to companies who are trying to serve people around the world. Yahoo CEO Marissa Meyer and Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg both complaining, but privacy advocate Gina Loudon says they should actually look in the mirror because they're spying just as much as the government. You know, talk about deflection. Uh, it, listen, I, I agree. I have a real problem, Gina, with the amount of information that these private organizations have gathered on us and what they do with it. So maybe we should be just as concerned about them. Yeah, the, the poor fat cats aren't liking what they ate for lunch. Look, this is what happened, Charles. We all know that these folks are exactly the people who helped elect an administration who's doing absolutely nothing about the fact that the NSA is demanding such, such information uh, and spying on us. Um, and, and these are the same people who have repeatedly said, you know, your information is going to be kept private. It isn't kept private. And now they're the ones complaining about it. This isn't making any sense. And I think, you you know, capitalist as we are, if you take a really hard look at this and ask one really tough question, instead of patting yourself on the back for the fact that you're suing over the private data that you've given away to the government, how about you sue to not have to give that private data, data away in the very first place? That makes perfect sense to me. So in other words, uh, they're trying to have it both ways, huh? look heroic yeah. to the public, but really accommodative to the administration. Right, and you have to go back to the beginning of the storybook, Charles. You know, I, I heard the baby thing, and let's take that analogy. Go back to the beginning of the story. The beginning of the story is they worked to elect an administration who is ignoring all of the privacy invasions and the massive overreach of government and invasion into our private lives. And so to whine about it now, how does that work out? I, I mean, we're used to, you know, fat cat types, uh, you know, feigning some sort of outrage. It's good people. Are. The question here, though, is will the public, will the low-information voter be wise enough not to bite on this one? I don't know. By calling them the low-information voter, you might have answered that <laughs> yourself. But, you know, I mean, are, <laughs> listen, are we going to give up Facebook? Are we going to stop searching on Yahoo? Are we going to stop using Google, even though a van might have just gone by a street and taken a photograph of our house? I mean, are we going to make those tough decisions? You know, some people are, and, that, and that's the scary part, because the, the folks who are wise to this are going to be the ones the most likely to not use those things that are a great tool out there, especially in winning elections. So this is where, again, they put us over, over a barrel and really do nothing to help uh, we the people, the people that are actually padding their pockets quite nicely. It would be really nice, like I said, if they would, instead of suing to disclose who, what all they've had to disclose, right. if they they would instead just simply sue to not have to disclose it at all. You know, Silicon Valley is uh, starting to really put a lot of money into politics now for the first time, and Zuckerberg's got a big right. organization. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure, you know, I take it for granted that they, they're left-leaning. Certainly, they've raised a lot of money for the president the last election cycle. But there's hints of some libertarian bench there, even conservative. Is it mm -hmm. possible, is it possible that any of these guys could be sincere and actually do some of the things you're talking about? Ha. We can dream. But again, I think the proof is always in the pudding, Charles. When you're asking the hard questions like, you know, why would you sue to be able to disclose what you had to disclose? How about suing to not have to disclose it at all? I think that tells a lot and concerns me. Of course, the next elections, uh, both of the next elections, will disclose a lot to us uh, about whether their talk is actually, uh, their walk is actually in line right. with their talk, as you're mentioning. And I think it would be great. I mean, they, it makes no sense to me and never has made any sense to me why someone, uh, for example, you know, would, would be have a libertarian bent and not believe in uh, the, the free market and the privacy that government should allow that free market. All right. I got to tell you, the government and these order, listen, to a certain degree, we give them this information, but the idea that the way they use it uh, scares the heck out of a whole lot of people. And people yeah. are conflicted. They would like to have choices so that maybe that they would have some privacy, uh, but doesn't look like it right now. Gina, thanks a lot. Great points you brought up. Thank we appreciate you, Charles. It.